In addition, kung ma-observe natin that yung magnitude of the total momentum is less than the sum of the magnitudes of each individual bird's momentum. This is generally the case when dealing with vector addition and the only exception is when yung lahat ng vectors point in the same directions. For example, we are standing on a skateboard na nakalapag sa horizontal surface without friction and babatuhin tayo ng isang heavy but slow moving object. Once na makatch natin yung object na yun, magkakaroon yun ng effect and magmove tayo do sa kinakatayuan natin with the skateboard, mag-roll yung skateboard. On the other hand, kapag babatuhin naman tayo ng mas magana object pero mas mabilis, yung effect may be the same. That means, Catching a lightweight object moving fast enough causes you to move with the same speed as when you caught the heavy ball. In physics, yung observations na yun are made precise with the quantity called the linear momentum. Linear momentum, or denoted as P, of a body of mass M is defined as the product of the mass and the velocity of the body or the object. We have the formula for the linear momentum, P is equal to mass times velocity. Linear momentum is measured in units of kilograms times meters per second SI units. Doon sa heavy object na nabanggit natin kanina, for example, yung kanyang mass is twice doon sa mas magana object, pero yung light object naman is twice the speed of the heavy object. Ibig sabihin, yung momenta of the two objects are equal in magnitude. Say, mas mabigat yung kanyang mass ng dalawang beses, times the velocity and yung isang object naman is mas magaan yung mass pero mas mabilis yung velocity niya equal yung kanilang momentum kasi makakancel lang din naman dito yung 2 it follows from yung momentum natin which is equal sa mass times velocity and the units of linear momentum are dose of mass times velocity yun nga yung kilograms times meter per second so walang special shorthand name is given to this combination of units in addition Papapansin natin that yung linear momentum or simply momentum na lang for short is the momentum of an object moving in a straight line. So sa mga susunod nating lessons, meron tayong may encounter na tinatawag natin as the angular momentum for objects that are rotating. Example number 1, a 72.3 kilogram man runs with a speed of 3.13 meters per second in the positive x direction. What is the man's momentum vector? Using the formula, we have P is equal to mass times velocity. Given sa atin yung mass ng man, we have 72.3 kilograms and yung kanyang speed, 3.13 meters per second. By this, two given quantities, masasolve na natin agad yung momentum ng man. Linear momentum is equal to mass is 72.3 kilograms times the velocity, 3.13 meters per second. So, sa positive x direction, simply ilagay na lang natin is positive. By calculating, linear momentum is equal to 226 kilograms times meters per second and yan sa positive direction. So, this is example number 1. Example number 2. A 0.17 kg small object has a momentum with a magnitude of 1.52 kg times meters per second. What is the speed of the object? By simply deriving the formula, P is equal to mass times velocity, and substituting directly the values, masasolve na agad natin yung kanyang velocity. Formula is P equals mass times velocity. We are solving for the velocity. We divide both sides by the mass, cancel. Velocity is equal to, ang momentum natin is 1.52 kilograms meters per second. Divided by the mass na 0.17 kilograms. We can cancel out the kilograms unit. And by calculating, ang velocity natin is equal to 8.94 meters per second. This is example number 2. Example number 3, the momentum of a plane flying with a speed of 54.9 meters per second has a magnitude of 3.93 times 10 raised to 4 kilograms times meters per second. 
what is the mass of the plane. This time, ang inaharap naman sa atin is yung mass and same process na gagawin natin. We derive the formula and we substitute the given values directly. P is equal to m times v. Solving for the mass, we divide both sides by the velocity. Cancel. Mass is equal to, ang momentum na given sa atin is 3.93 times 10 raised to 4 kilogram meters per second. Divided by, ang velocity is 54.9 meters per second. Mass of the plane ang required sa problem. By calculating, mass is equal to 716 kilograms. So this is example number 3. Example number 4. Two objects are dropped up the floor. A 0.10 kg tough toy is dropped with a speed of 4 meters per second and sticks to the floor. A 0.10 kg rubber ball also hits the floor with a speed of 4 meters per second but in this case, the ball bounces upward off the floor. If we assume an ideal rubber ball, its initial upward speed is 4 meters per second. What is the change in momentum in each case? Like the previous quantities in phases, meron din tayo din na na change in momentum. Because the velocity is a vector with the with both a magnitude and a direction, ganon din yung momentum, meron din tayong magnitude and as well as the direction. In problems that are strictly one-dimensional, we simplify vectors to a single component. And mas napapadali yung ating calculation, we just have to be careful to use the correct sign of the component. In this figure, inahanap sa atin yung change in momentum. And to approach this problem system systematically, as we can see, merong x and y coordinate, which is yung y pataas is a positive, and yung x to the right is the positive. With this choice, it follows that neither object has momentum in the x direction. Thus, the system is one-dimensional only. And kailangan lang natin i-consider yung y component ng momentum natin. And kailangan careful again tayo sa sign. So, mag-start tayo dun sa stuff toy. Just before hitting the floor, nag-move siya downward. And ibig sabihin, negative, nasa y, negative y direction yung kanyang motion, which is 4 meters per second. And letting M stands for the mass of the stuff toy, we find that the initial momentum is, nung stuff toy is, mass times negative velocity. Okay, stuff toy. Nasa Y component tayo. After landing on the floor, yung staff toy is at rest na. Hence, yung kanyang final momentum is zero. Okay, this is initial. Momentum of the staff toy final is mass times velocity, zero ito. So, this is zero na. Therefore, yung change in momentum para sa staff toy, we have change in momentum for the staff toy Final momentum minus the initial momentum, we substitute the values. Change in momentum for the stuff toy, ang final momentum natin is 0 minus, ito yung ating initial momentum, ang mass is 0 0.10 kilograms times negative velocity, negative 4 meters per second. And change in momentum natin for the stuff toy is equal to positive 0 0.40 kilograms meters per second. Mapapansin natin that yung change in momentum is positive. That is, nasa upward direction yung change in momentum na yan. And this makes sense because bago mag-land or bago bumagsak yung stuff toy, meron siyang negative momentum in the y direction. In order to increase the momentum from a negative value to zero, it is necessary to add a positive or simply upward momentum. So next naman, para dun sa rubber ball, before bouncing, meron siyang momentum na, okay, this is for the stuff toy. Ito naman yung sa ball. Y component pa rin tayo. Before siya tumama dun sa floor and bago siya mag-bounce, meron siyang momentum na, okay, this is momentum of the ball. Initial, mass times negative velocity rin kasi pababa rin yung kanyang velocity initially. This is the same initial momentum as for the stuff toy. After bouncing, 
yung ball naman eh, nag-move upward in the positive direction, meron siyang momentum na. So, momentum of the ball, final, this is equal to mass times positive na yung kanyang velocity. By calculating, para sa kanyang change in momentum of the ball, we have momentum final minus momentum initial. Change in momentum of the ball is equal to, ang final natin is mass times velocity minus mass times ito na initial negative velocity. And substitute natin yung values. Change in momentum of the ball is equal to 0.10 kilograms times 4.0 meters per second minus 0.10 kilograms times negative 4.0 meters per second. By calculating, and change of momentum of the ball is equal to 0.8 kilograms meters per second. This is twice the change in momentum of this tough toy. And the reason is that in this case, the momentum in the y direction must first be increased from uh, negative momentum up to 0 and then increase again from 0 momentum up to mass times the positive velocity. And for the stuff toy, Nagche change yung change was simply from negative momentum to zero. Mapapansin natin kung gaano ka importante yung pagiging careful about the vector nature of the momentum and to use the correct sign for the momentum especially in this case nasa y direction lang tayo. Otherwise, we might have concluded erroneously that yung rubber ball had zero change in momentum since yung magnitude of its momentum wasn't changed by the bounce. In fact, yung momentum does change due to the change in its direction of the motion. And this is example number 4. From the previous problem, we have already mentioned that momentum is a vector and hence the total momentum of a system of objects is the vector sum of the momenta of all the objects. So in problems involving a system of objects or a group of objects, be sure to draw a coordinate system for momentum problems and even if the problem is only one dimensional, it is important to use the coordinate system to assign the correct sign to velocities and momenta in the system. Example number 5, a person throws some bread into a duck pond. Two 4 kilogram ducks and a 9 kilogram goose paddle rapidly toward the bread. If the duck swim at 1.10 meters per second, and the goose swims with the speed of 1.3 meters per second, find the magnitude and direction of the total momentum of the three birds. So let's draw a diagram for this figure. Coordinate system. This is the duck one. Say so momentum of duck one. And this is the duck two. Momentum of duck two. And ito naman yung momentum ng goose. Assuming na yung kanyang total momentum is in this direction kapag nagtama na silang tatlo. This is the total momentum with an angle of theta from the horizontal. In this sketch, we place the region where the bread flows on the water. For example, ito yung kinalalagay nung bread na pupuntahan nilang tatlo. Papapansin natin na yung duck one swims in the positive x direction. Ito siya. Yung duck two naman swims in the negative y direction papunta dun sa origin. And yung goose naman swims in the positive y direction papunta dun sa bread. Therefore, yung momentum ng duck one is equal to mass ng duck times the velocity ng duck papunta siya sa positive x direction. Say, sulat natin as x. And yung duck 2 naman is papunta sa negative y direction. So, isulat natin as negative and this is mass of the duck times velocity of the duck y direction. Nasa negative y direction siya. And lastly, yung momentum naman ng goose natin is equal to mass ng goose Tan sa velocity ng goose and papunta siya sa positive y direction. So, we write the momentum of each bird as a vector using unit vectors in the x and y directions. And next, 
itototal natin yung vectors component by component to find the total momentum. And finally, gagamitin na natin yung components of the total momentum to calculate its magnitude and direction given sa atin yung mass and yung velocities. So let's use the x and y unit vectors to express the moment of to express the momentum in pitch word in vector form. For that one, ang mass is 4 kilograms times 1.10 meters per second. So, nasa x direction yan. Ang momentum ng duck one natin is equal to 4.4 kilograms times meters per second sa x direction. Yung duck two naman, we have negative times 4 kilograms times the velocity na 1.10 meters per second. Ang momentum ng duck 2 is equal to negative 4.4 kilograms meters per second. And this is the y direction. For the goose, ang mass is 9 kilograms times 1.3 meters per second. And by calculating, ang momentum ng goose is equal to 11.7 kilograms times meters per second. And this is a y direction positive. To find the total momentum, like the forces in two dimensions natin from the dynamics, i-add lang natin lahat ng momentum na nasa x direction and lahat ng momentum na nasa y direction. And then, kukunin natin yung total momentum by Pythagorean theorem. So, yung momentum at x, isa lang yung nag exist which is yung 4.40 kilograms times meters per second. Ito lang. So, y naman, dalawa nag exist We have yung sa duct 2, negative 4.40 plus 11.7 nung goose and ang value nito is 7.3 kilograms meters per second. To find the total momentum, we have the square root of px square plus py square. And by substituting the values, we have 4.4 kilograms meters per second quantity square plus 7.3 kilograms meters per second quantity square. And dito na natin lagay. Total momentum is equal to 8.52 kilograms meters per second. This is the value of the total momentum, yung momentum ng buong system kapag nagdikit-dikit na sila. And to find the direction, simple ang gagawin lang din natin is yung tangent function. Inverse tangent is equal to py over px. Ang py natin is 7.3 divided by px 4.4 by calculating the direction or the angle is equal to 58.9 degrees from the positive x direction. Ito yun. And this is the value of the total momentum. We can notice that the momentum of each bird depends only on its mass and velocity. It is dependent of the bird's location. In addition, kung ma-observe natin that yung magnitude of the total momentum is less than the sum of the magnitudes of each individual bird's momentum. This is generally the case when dealing with vector addition and the only exception is when yung lahat ng vectors point in the same direction. So this is example number 5.